A decade ago, community opposition to wind farms was growing, and watching tensions rise, more than 100 MPs, including five members of the current cabinet, wrote to the then Prime Minister, David Cameron, asking him to tighten planning rules. Do you need to go on with a planning system that gives such priority to wind farms rather than local opinion? In 2015, the rules were changed. Unlike offshore wind, onshore farms in England would only be permitted in areas already identified as suitable in local plans, and the project had to be shown to have community backing. What we saw happen was a significant decrease in submitted planning applications in England. Planning applications are really expensive, so it's like, why would developers risk that amount of money to put in an application that's likely to get refused? In the period uh, 2016 to 2021, only 20 wind turbines in total have been approved. Not 20 wind farms, 20 turbines. Wales and Scotland raced ahead. Today, however, the government's own figures show onshore wind is popular. Not as much as some other renewables, but 78% of people strongly support or support onshore wind developments, compared to 4% opposed. According to YouGov, that's a higher approval rating than Beans on Toast or The Beatles. But when the question is changed to whether people would be happy for an onshore wind farm to be built in their area, opinions change too. Support in all region falls to between a third and half of the population, and opposition grows. That's why those now proposing that the effective moratorium should be lifted argue that new onshore wind developments should still only happen where communities want them, although how that support would be demonstrated and how much opposition would be accepted isn't totally clear. Just over half of those who'd be unhappy with a local wind farm say they're concerned about the impact on plants and animals. Turbines can kill birds which directly fly into them and displace or disrupt nearby populations. In a few sites in North America and some sites in mainland Europe, there have been very large number of numbers of birds killed, sort of tens, maybe even more than that, hundreds in some cases of birds killed each year. Um, but uh, these are quite historic sites. So when onshore winds started to appear in the UK, we've managed to avoid those sorts of very high numbers of birds being, being killed in the UK. There's no particular reason from a bird conservation point of view to maintain a, a, a moratorium, certainly in our, in our experience. For many, though, wind turbines will always loom large across a landscape. In 2008, a wind farm was proposed near Christine's home in Denny, near Falkirk. The community was quite split on the, the whole idea, actually. There was a lot of um, people that were very precious about the environmental impact, um, mostly aesthetic impact. Um, you know, the visual impact of all these wind turbines that they thought were really ugly at the time. To win over those unconvinced, companies agreed to pay into a community fund which residents could distribute. I think at the time, and the, the climate at the time, I think it was absolutely essential. It was the real sweetener and it was what enabled people to buy in, to then enable to see the benefits. Those who welcome wind farms point to its green credentials, helping us towards our climate targets. Currently, though, England's planning rules don't just limit the industry's expansion. Not many people are aware, but our existing onshore wind farms have 25-year planning consents, and most of the planning consents require that at the end of the 25 years, the wind farm is removed. Totally new planning approval would be required to keep or replace turbines. Is there the possibility that if the moratorium isn't lifted, that not only will we not push towards net zero, we could lose some of the onshore wind capabilities we currently have? Yeah, while we expect a lot of the existing wind farms to be able to be repowered, that's not a, a given. Some sites just won't be suitable for the much larger machines now used. Many communities will always hold objections to wind farms. The current debate will decide whether more are given the choice. <laughs>